not die. For the love of last day. Life. And let us go forward into 2018 into holy living. Go forward in good old times, Sabbath keeping, in Bible study and prayer. You know, these days, sometimes many of us don't find enough time to spend with God, and yet we are asking for the Holy Spirit. I tell those who are here on Wednesday night, I'm going to tell you today. You see, God answers some of our prayers that we are asking for the Holy Spirit with dead. Why? Because our lives are not ready for that kind of a power. God will not give us the power until we have chosen to surrender our will to Him. Until evangelism is the uppermost part on your mind. So if God gives you the Holy Spirit and you are not into evangelizing, what are you going to do with Him? So what are you going to do with the power? I want to appeal to our young people. God is counting on you. You're letting down. You are what is called a millennial generation. God is depending on you for except God works and miracle. Some of us you see here will be dead, buried, and forgotten. And you are the young one who will have the table, the mantle of leadership. And if you think no bad, wait till 10 years down the road. You can't manage without the power of the Holy Spirit. So if you surrender your life to God, this cell phone can be a powerful tool to win souls for the kingdom. Can you say amen? amen. In fact, maybe five or so years to come, we might very well don't have any hard copy for thy saving life. For everything that have been high tech, but they are late. Jesus knew all about that long time. In fact, I told my young people in a crusade I was doing recently that Mark Zuckerberg is not the one who created Facebook. God did. Learn that. You want to know? See that? Simple. Every time you open this book, where is your face? Where is your face? Argument done. God created Facebook. And by the way, Zuckerberg late. For you talk about text, text messaging. God, many years ago, is way ahead of them. He is God. He is large and He is in charge. And I want to say to somebody today, go forward with Jesus. If you plan to get baptized, go forward. And at the end of this month, we're going to have a baptism. Go forward in baptism. You know why? For the opportunity you have today, you may not have them anymore too much. Tell somebody about Jesus for the person you see today. Like God said to Israel, to about the Egyptians, you may see them no more forever. But, if you fail to minister to their need, one day when your name comes up for mention in judgment, and God looks at your name and realizes that you never confess him before men. He says, Father, I don't know such and such a person. That's why I have made a commitment and a covenant with God. I'm pressing on the upper end. New heights I'm gaining every day. Still pray as I onward back. Lord, plant my feet. Praise team, come. We're going to sing and worship and praise God. Before I give you the closing prayer, 
We're going to have groups of tools praying for the power of the Holy Spirit. Praying and asking God, Oh, God, breathe on me breath of life until my heart is pure until the will of the human becomes one, one with the will of the divine then draw me closer with the cause of love number 625 